Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the simsmultiplayer.com website to uh, get the download for the mod. Um, you're going to click the download now button when you get the chance, and it's going to take you to the mod the sims page for it. Now you need to know that if you have a um, lower, uh, older version, then you're going to need a different version of the uh, mod. Uh, for us, we have the newest version, so we're going to get the newest version of the mod which is going to be the S4MP uh, 0.3.2 zip for Windows because we're using Windows obviously. If you're using Mac, most of these steps are going to be the same from you, for you except some of the um, Hamachi steps. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be relatively similar just to how um, similar the game's file systems are. So now that we have extracted this, we put it on our desktop, we have the um, mod script, the TS4 script that we're going to need to copy uh, right there on the desktop. And we're going to be copying that to our documents. Uh, this is the same on Mac too. Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then Mods. Now, I already had the mod installed, so I'm deleting that. You can ignore that. Um, but I'm pasting it in now. And just like that, the mod is installed. Now, both people are going to be needed following these steps up until at the bottom left it says not to. Um, so you're going to your game options now once you open the game. And you got to make sure that those boxes are checked. By default, they are not. Uh, unless you've uh, played with mods before, those are usually not checked. And it's going to ask you to restart the game. And you're going to want to do that. Alright, so now what we're going to be doing is making the save file that we're going to be sending over to uh, either the host or client. Um, doesn't matter who really, but once you load into the save that you want to use, it is critical that the save is paused. The save must be on paused, the speed paused. Save it, and then you're, you're golden, you're good to go. What this is doing is making sure so when both you get the uh, save, it's perfectly in sync because it stopped. It stopped in time. Perfectly in sync. That's why you are doing that. Do not forget it. It is critical. That's all. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the save file that you guys intend to play on, and we're going to get it copied over out of um, one of your guys' save folders, which is going to be where we put the mods, except now in the saves folder in the Sims 4 directory. And um, right here, we're going to in game and we're figuring out what save is what save. So we know that Chad Unit House Video Edition is the um, slot 5 save. So we're going to copy that to our desktop and now send this over to your friend, however, and have them put it in their saves folder. And uh, yep, that's that. So next we're going to VPN.net to get Hamachi. Now, uh, for a quick breakdown of Hamachi, what it does is tunnels um, uh, IP traffic to each other so that way you don't have to deal with port forwarding and all that stuff, um, which you would normally have to do. So we're just going through the install. We don't want to install LastPass, so we're going to be skipping that. We're going to go ahead and hit yes on this. And then that's that. Um, your installation might take longer. It's it's all right. Just pause the video. So um, what we're doing now is we're gonna hit that power button to turn it on, but it's gonna ask you to sign in to use Hamachi. Um, you can make an account and you can use it on multiple devices. So if only one of you want to make it, that's okay. Um, we're gonna be uh, jumping over to who's gonna be hosting the server. It doesn't matter. Um, because it's a two-way connection. E either one can make the network on Hamachi, but just ignore that. Network ID, um, make it whatever you want. Um, if it tells you it's already in use, it's already in use, just make a new one. Uh, whatever password you want, I made it one, two, three, four, just for the video. And uh, now someone has created a network and the other person can then join the network using the network ID and password. It's um, that easy to do, to make a network, and then now you are con to con you two are connected now. 
but uh, pay very close attention to this next step. If we diagnose our peer, then we'll notice that there is an issue. Inbound traffic block, check firewall settings. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the firewall and we're gonna do something where we make an inbound rule for the program. Um, essentially what we're doing is letting this bypass the firewall. This doesn't put your PC at risk. This is uh, safe to do as long as you follow the video's instructions. And uh, so now we're just gonna wait for advanced settings to open because that's where we're going. The inbound rules tab. We're going to create a new rule. Uh, we're gonna have it under a program and watch closely now. So we're going to uh, your C drive or um, yeah, your C drive program files x86 where um, Hamachi is installed, log me in Hamachi. Then the x64 folder, hamachi-2.exe. And then you can basically just bash through the rest of this because it's basically already set up how we want it now. Just name it whatever you feel like. And the description is optional. So now that we've uh, created that network rule, you can see it up there. And then now if we go read, um, diagnose the RP here, we'll see that everything is okay. There's no issues with inbound traffic. Now we are jumping over to what the host is going to be doing. That's going to be running the S4MP multiplayer server thingy. He's going to extract the zip that came with the, um, multiplayer download that we got off of Mod The Sims. And only one person is hosting here. Only one person is running a server. So you're going to wait for that to open. Um, they're going to say it's an unrecognized app. It's fine. Um, ask the developer yourself if you want. But um, So now that we got the server up, uh, you both are going to be loading into a save or loading into the save that you guys have decided on leaving the game paused make sure you leave the game paused now on the left side we're gonna have the client here I'm using a virtual box to um, show both the computers connected at the same time and you're gonna open the console uh, on one uh, on uh, the host, the host is going to connect first, so they're going to open the console with Control Shift C, and they're going to do MP dot uh, C space true. That's going to connect them. You can go check on the S4 MP server and see that you've connected. Now the other person, what they're going to be doing is MP dot C false, and then what they're going to do is that Hamachi program that we installed. It's giving you a virtual IP. So you're gonna go to their uh, their computer name or whatever, right click on them and copy IPv4 address and then you can paste that into the console bar and hit enter the, their virtual IP and it should connect you. If not, then make sure you typed it right, the, the command. And uh, now if you press play, if everything was set up correctly, yeah, you both should be seeing the um, game change. Now the host is the only one that can mess with the time. So if the client tries, then uh, it just won't do anything. And if the client can, that means it was set up incorrectly or someone disconnected or something. And what I'm uh, doing here on the uh, client computer is actually trying to turn down the uh, settings because virtual box is lagging a bit so I'm trying to make it um, run smoother so you can see that they're uh, working together better and that's basically it now for when you're done and you want to stop the game or th this is just general good practice every like hour or so 30 minutes of your choice um, you pause the game, the host pauses the game, it'll pause it for both of you, and then both of you guys save. And this will keep your, this will have your game saved, obviously, and both of you will have this new up-to-date save, so um, the host doesn't gotta send it to the client, or vice versa. Right. 
and there is a issue right now where sometimes the client's saving the game uh, their game will freeze up it'll just uh, be stuck on saving and in this case I mean it sucks but just force close the game and have that host send you the save file that they just saved and then you guys should be back up to uh, up and running again